What's up guys, I'm Tony Woodark. I'm a photographer out of Southern California and today we're gonna to talk about my latest pickups. First up is this bag that one of my clients gave to me. The company's called Wandered. The bag name is Prek, Prok, Pruk, Park? Provoke. Pra, Pruk. This is, I believe, the 31 liter bag. It's a really good size. It's got this roll top duffel, which I really like. You can basically pack it full of as much stuff as you want, just kind of an open case. And then on the back here, you unzip it. So inside here is the camera cube, super nice. You have access to basically the roll top duffel. So you can either drop in through the top or going through there. Nice little sunglass case right there. And then a little laptop sleeve in there. And then over on this side, I put my water bottle in here, but you could put a tripod as well. So that's super nice. So yeah, I've been using this when I go on little vacations where I basically want to take two cameras, a couple lenses and some film. I think this is the perfect bag for that because then I can pack a bunch of clothes up top. Inside the camera cube, I can fit my Leica M6 and a Pentax 6.7, as well as my light meter and some film. Fits nicely in that little camera cube. I think it's the medium sized camera cube. And then I'm able to fit a few days worth of clothes in the top. Can kind of take out as much as I want and use it as kind of a hiking backpack as I cruise around taking photos. So yeah, I've really enjoyed that bag. Just wanted to mention real quick that all the things that I talk about today are in the links below. I have an entire page on my website full of all my favorite gear, so you can check that out. Then the next thing that I've got is the Pelican Air 1535. I'm stoked on this case. I've, this is my first Pelican case, so I'm really liking it. I went with the travel kit, so it's got these zippered pouches that I put on the top instead of padding. I went with the Trek Pack insert dividers Super nice, customizable. I've packed a ton of stuff in here. You can check out my other video I just made full of my wedding day camera kit and you can see how much stuff I fit in here, but basically a medium format camera, my R6 with a 28 to 70, another R6, Canon 1V, two lenses, and then some of my flashes and flash stuff as well as light meter and then all my extra batteries up here. So really been stoked on this case. I haven't used it much, so I can't really say other than I love the organization and we'll see how it holds up this year. These are built super tough. This one specifically fits as a carry-on. Wheels on the bottom and then a little um, handle as well. So really stoked on the size of this and how much I could fit in it. Yeah. If you can't tell, I really like organization and just having everything that I have have a place. One thing that I've been so stoked on and just waiting for was this bag by Holdfast. So they finally launched what's called the Quiver. And it's basically this like utility pouch thing that you can either wear as a belt, kind of like a tool belt. You can wear it with the strap as kind of crossbody bag and you could put some extra lenses in there. And then it also has clips to clip to your Holdfast money makers which has been amazing. And so I basically cl clip it to my money makers. It sits right on my back and then I put all my unused film and exposed film in here, as well as maybe a light meter, my cell phone, and some extra batteries. Fits all that really nicely. You could put an extra lens in there or whatever. There's a bunch of little different compartments and a zippered pouch in the back too. So tons of room for different stuff, but also no padding or anything. So it folds down and it can get really small and kind of you can pack this away. So that's what I like is just being able to stuff this away, pull it out and fill it with all my gear. So yeah, this is the waxed olive canvas bag. They have it in a bunch of different colors, but yeah, I'm so stoked on this. If you want a discount on your hold fast purchase, I have a discount for the straps so you can get 15% off. Just use the code WOODARK2020. And yeah, I'm an ambassador for them. Just love the company. They make insane gear. My money makers that I use are five years old and they've only gotten better with age. Okay, another thing that I've wanted for a while, I've basically been filling my fridge with film. That film in my fridge ended up in my wine fridge. My wine fridge ended up with no wine, just a bunch of film in it. And so I wanted to keep that a wine fridge and so I got a second or a third fridge just specifically for my film. So that's made by New Air. And I basically got a blemished one. I don't know, it like dropped off the truck or something. It's just got a little ding in it. 
nothing major. The front glass is beautiful. I've got it kind of packed away in my garage anyways, so it doesn't really matter. And it's just a great fridge. I like the clear front so I can kind of see what my stock levels are at for my film. And it fits a ton of film. Instead of 300 bucks, it was 160 or 180 maybe. So a lot cheaper than if you just bought it brand new. So yeah, I would definitely recommend checking out their site and look at the blemish ones unless you need a perfect looking fridge. Another pickup that I got that I just love is the 28 to 70 RF lens. I just love it. It's massive, it's super heavy, it's kind of ridiculous. When you hold the camera and then you hold the lens, you end up holding the lens and then kind of just touching the camera. Uh, it's very top heavy and kind of awkward on the camera, but having 28 to 70 all in one lens is amazing, especially we can go to F2. And so basically this is gonna be my one and all lens for a wedding day. I can basically shoot the entire wedding day on digital with that. I have some EF lenses that I can throw on if I need a little bit closer, like a 85 or 135. But for the most part, I could totally shoot an entire wedding with this lens. And I've done a couple of photo shoots already with just that lens and I'm just so stoked on it. The quality is amazing that you get out of it. I love it at F2 and yeah, it's really sharp and it's got nice bokeh and yeah, it's kind of just the perfect lens. So yeah, stoked on that. Those are all my latest pickups. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and yeah, drop a comment below. Thanks. Mm -hmm.